What's going on guys? Drewski here, your host at Yellow Buckets, and we're here playing some NES tonight on this Friday going into Saturday. What is it? I think it yeah, just turned midnight, so time that just <laughs> just well enough um, for what it's worth, but yeah, we're here playing some Death Bots tonight. Good old NES. Glare, but Death bots for the Nintendo Entertainment System. This is an unlicensed game made by I think it's like Odyssey Software and um, developed or uh, distributed by or published by American Video Entertainment. So you know all those household names that everyone's talking about. Um, so yeah, that's what we're playing tonight. Um, Getting my chat up here. Up here. Oops. Which, yeah, we don't need that. There we go. Um, oh, there's a fancy new moderator tool on the phone. Okay. Whatever. Sounds good. So we got chat right there. Cool. All right. So yeah, we're playing Death Bots. Uh, it's a gray screen of death right now, but there we go. Motherfucking Death Bots. And this is an unlicensed NES game, like I said, meaning it was not endorsed by Nintendo in any capacity. So yeah, it was kind of like right at the end of the free-for-all era for like you know well I mean I guess technically not I was gonna say it was like the free-for-all era of making video games but there were indie developers still exist to this day so I mean technically I guess that never ended but it's just weird thinking about unlicensed games I mean sure Super Nintendo and Genesis had a few I'm sure uh, I mean, like, like Super Noah's Ark 3D or whatever. That's a, probably the classic one for Super Nintendo. But, yeah, this one's just a, uh, a typical old shoot 'em up kind of run-and-gun NES game. We, the goal is basically to get to the bottom floor of a facility. I'm pretty sure it's, like, Alcatraz, but it's been turned into, like, a robot factory. And, uh... Yeah, <clears throat> just basically got to get to the elevator. The whole goal is basically to get to the teleporter at the end of each area or the each board or level or whatever you want to call it. And then go through enough areas and you get to a boss at the end. <clears throat> Fight that boss, you get to the to a, uh, elevator. I don't know if I say an elevator, but you got to get to the teleporters at the end of the levels, and then at the end of all the levels is a boss, and after you defeat the boss, there's an elevator. You go down one more floor, and I think there's like eight or ten floors with like, I don't know, five or ten levels apiece. So there's, I mean, there's a, a lot of levels in this game, but it's kind of can go quick if you know what you're doing, I think. Um, I only played a little bit of this. Um, it's kind of going through the NES archive, just playing different games, and I saw this game in the list and I never heard of it and it's funny because it's in the NES library I have a separate library of games that's unlicensed games and like I would have figured this would have been in that but it was in with all of the North American release NES games so we're gonna just be checking it out um you know I'm playing it through RetroArch um through, P through my PC uh, through HDMI to my 4K Sony HDR Bravia display. Um, I have Nintendo hooked up to a beautiful 32-inch CRT JVC TV sitting right next to it. I have two Nintendos, actually. Top loader and the front loader. But I, I'm not at that level yet, so we're just doing it the easy way. But I do have the fucking game. And, uh... We'll check that out maybe in a little bit, but 
death bots. I don't know. I played it for like 15 minutes the other day going through a bunch of different games, but <clears throat> I guess for anybody curious, I'm using a wireless NES controller made by fuck who knows, some Amazon company. But yeah, you're this blue guy and you just gotta either avoid or destroy the robots and get to the teleporter. Uh, and you can see up in the top right is my health. I just picked up a health pack right there. That was a gun I just picked up. Come on, open! And a pistol. So if I hit... Wait. Select. Start pauses the game. If I hit select, it opens up this inventory. And I have a grenade I can equip. I can equip that to B. And then that's a health pack. So I believe my energy is down in the bottom right there in the in the yellow square that is my health basically and if i use these um health packs i'll recharge it so i'm gonna have to pause the game and use those as i get them and i'm actually gonna equip this gun and let's go i don't know what all the guns do but Fuck, I'm already almost dead. Ah, just get out, get out, get out. Right. Ah. Damn. Recharges left. Four. So that's not good. I'm only on this like third level, and I'm already died, and I've already died once. But oh, yeah, I should use the grenade. So I think that little. My gun ran out. So I gotta switch to that. And I still have the grenade equipped, so that's good. So what I should have done when I was almost dead earlier, uh, a second ago, I should have used the health pack. So they do give them to you, you know, here and there. I don't wanna say often, but. Fuck grenades, I gotta get those. Okay, so like right now, I'm gonna use this health. Two left. Let's use one more. So we're like four fifths of the way full on health, basically. Yeah, we got four out of six health modules. Uh, we just got eight and up. That's a mine, I'm pretty sure. I don't know what the red diamonds are. I think they're mines. Okay, so we got. health pack and then we got decent guns too so let's use that that oh fuck what's that it's like the mother of all fucking guns and then that's like looks like a flamethrower or something okay Oh, okay, this is the boss thing. Fucker! I don't have health. Ah! Oh, did I get him? I got him! Okay. So there's six floors and then GB, so like Grand Basement. I don't know. <laughs> Great Britain. 
We get teleported to Great Britain. Let's say what's up to Mac while we're over there. Oh shit! What are these wallies? We got weaponized wallies. Okay, they're just they fuck you up. Don't try to contend with them. Do those so those doors like open once and then oh okay. Try a different gun. What was that? Yeah, let's use this. And then where's that big fucking bomb? I think actually, if I remember correctly, that's like a. Like, I mean, it might not clear the whole room, but it like, I think you press the button and like a decent circle around you gets, gets exploded. So, let's save that. Okay, so the flamethrower looking things like a laser gun of some sort. Fucks Wally up. Okay. Oh, is that the teleporter? Um. That's the teleporter now. I'm gonna try to get on it. Oh, it, it is a teleporter, but... That's interesting. It's like the blue ones move you around the map. Shit. I'm dead. I'm dead. No, come on! Okay. This game's kind of... That's what, you know, that's what initially caught it, you know, caught my attention when I played it. Is it just seemed like it was, like, doable if you kind of knew where you were going. But at the same time... I don't have anything equipped. So that's stupid. It should at least default you back to the starting pistol. If you run out of ammo. Let's actually use one of those guys. Um, but yeah, it's like one of those games where if you if you can just juke the enemies out, get a good run, and just know where you're going, you probably won't die as much. What? Fuck? Is that, is that black square or something? All right, I just keep saying access denied, so. Screw me, I guess. Oh, that noise is like, <clears throat> what the hell? What? What is that? What is a, it's a watch? It's a watch with a guy, is that like a one-up? I'm gonna use it. Invulnerability maybe? Yeah, that's invulnerability. making that like audio cable rip tear noise and it's just getting wasted because Graphics are pretty assy. I guess I haven't commented on that really. Um, my I might be soft locked right here. I don't know. But it's like, it's oh, it opened and it opens when I'm like not anywhere near it. What the hell? Look at, 
Don't you like how my character's like... Like, imagine in Grand Theft Auto, if, like, if, if, when you're stopping, you know how, like, <laughs> in Grand Theft Auto, we're comparing this fucking game to, well, I got Grand Theft Auto over there. I could go grab it, but. Imagine in Grand Theft Auto, you're playing, it's like Trevor or whatever, or Nico, whatever, just pick your game. And, and, and you're just moving, you're holding the stick going forward. And you just stop, and your character just stops mid-stride. Like, I, I get this is NES, and unlicensed NES at that, but that's kind of funny. Um, but yeah, the graphics are pretty ass. I mean, I get, like, what they were going for, but it's like, it's no Contra. You know, in terms of, like, you know, they, their top-down stages looked alright. You know, compared to something, you know, era appropriate. Hell, even, um, like Die Hard for NES had more detail and, like, color variation than this. This is, like, three different colors. I don't even know if I had health. health in there though so we need to find a teleporter um screw it do I have one of those like silver guns yeah 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 yeah, yeah. what the fuck the purple slime Ah! Dude, it melts you if it touches you. Holy smokes! Oh! Come on! That's not fair, dude! Oh! Three continues left, final score. Press any button to continue. Okay. Oh, it starts you right. Okay. That's fucking fair, dude. I appreciate this game now. Because a lot of NES games couldn't fucking do that like your good games would like you know Contra once again if you you know you continue well even that is like kind of flawed you start at the beginning of the level you were on but like this game's like if you hit continue like you're right where you died and uh, like that's like this game could be like complete and utter shit otherwise but that's a good feature as far as I'm concerned it's level three. I think that's another reason why I kind of decided to play this game. Sorry if I'm peeking. If you see me peeking over, I'm just looking at the chat, make sure I'm not missing anybody here. But we're good. Actually, I should put a shout out. Let me just put a shout out that I'm streaming. Send it out to the homies. If anyone bored, bored wants to chat, watch this horrendous NES game I'm streaming. You know, the typical stuff. I won't bother I won't bother people on Facebook, but we'll just send that out to the group chat. Um oh, picture in picture. Don't do that. There we go. Cool. But like I was saying, the main reason why I think I was like I should stream this because it seemed pretty easy. I think now now that I remember seeing that continue screen, I think that's about as far as I got last time I played. Um in terms of, like, I played till I died, whatever, five times and hit the continue screen. And I was like, oh, so you get three continues. That's pretty fair. Like, you could stretch, you know, whatever, three times, three, or is it five lives? Five times three, so 15 lives. You know, you could stretch that. 
seemingly over the six boards. So, but we'll see. You know. This looks like teleporter fuckery, so... drop some of this shit too. Like fuck a couple of them pistols. by the submarines. Actually, they weren't really hitting me there, but... <sighs> ah! Okay, so that's like the showers. You don't want to go back in there. There's grenades. Now it's a different noise. Game is, this game is so random. <laughs> the submarine television things. I don't know. TVs because they have antennas on them. Ah! So you run out of... Okay. That's a really a problem. They should let you get... It should just default you, like, if you have another of that gun type, it should just load that up. So that big yellow gun looks interesting. So I don't have any more health, it doesn't seem... that thing. Actually equip it. Let's equip something. Let's try that big yellow gun. Or actually, let's wait till we get to the boss to use that. That might be something crazy. Bam! It seems like a very early kind of like a... Uh, I don't know. Like I'm trying to think like what's the modern equivalent of like a game... What's a game that's a shooter? Oh my god, now it's like... It sounds like you got like water in your ears. But it's like, you know, what's a game where you kind of just run room to room and clear out enemies and... You know pick up guns and, and heal yourself. You know, basically, I just think of Call of Duty and, you know, Doom and stuff like that. And, and but I guess this would be like, this wouldn't be that because those are first-person shooters, but I don't know. There's just something about it that kind of just, I don't know, it puts you in that, that zone of just like, okay, this is just to shoot them up. We're going to shoot some shit. I don't know. It's kind of like a hard feeling to explain, but for as shitty as it looks, like this game, I don't know, it does something for me. <laughs> this game does something for me. It's getting a little hot in here. Ran out of ammo. And nades. Alright, so yellow gun. Got a grenade. Now it's back to, like, reversing dump truck. We don't have any grenades. So what happens, like... I'm trying to even figure out, like... You must have a limited amount of space, so if you pick something up, does it... Like, 
erase shit? Because I thought I had more small grenades. Unless, unless the small grenades like refill when you use them. Unlike your guns that don't refill when you run out of ammo. Okay, this is <clears throat> kind of a mind fuck. Um, so yeah, I guess let's get a gun. This, uh, blue area, this is like stage three or floor three. This has like, this is like, gotta be like the seventh or eighth level, it feels like. So some of these fucking have like ten boards. God, I gotta heal soon once I go through this door, kill this guy, something. Submerged phonograph ass sound. Yeah, I think it erases my health packs too, or whatever. I swear I have more than one health pack. I guess. Fucking submarine. Alright, boss, boss. Let's try this bomb, too. Oh! I hit him with it, though. Bitch! Alright, so you do not want to get touched by these bosses. They drain your health. Okay. Mother F. Mother Fook. Damn. Doesn't give me a chance to do shit. I'm dead again, melted. So I'm guessing, like, that's not guessing, I'm supposing that. The difficulty isn't that, you know, crazy. It's basically just, like, run, mash the fire button, and... Oh. Ooh, that's like a... That looks like a fucking rocket launcher or something. Should we save it for the boss? I don't know. Who knows if... Okay, I should, I'm gonna drop all, alright, drop that, drop all the red pistols. Fuck it, I'm dropping that yellow pistol. Let's use that, no, use that, save that, save that, actually let's use that, screw it. <clears throat> So I don't even know, there must be like, like computer screens on the wall you can interact with. Cause that, I didn't even see, like those down there. Shit, that's gotta be like a crap ton of items. Oh! Those things from Call of Duty. Um. <laughs> those like hammer robots or whatever the fuck they're called. <clears throat> Access denied. Access denied. Alright, so screw them. We're not even gonna bother. We got a health. We got a gun. Fuck. I'll get you some health. Damn it. Oh, it's fuck. What are those things called? fuck are those things called? So 
fuck? Wilson. That's it. Wilson. <laughs> it's called Wilson. He's Wilson. Look at that sprite, though. That's. I'm taking a picture of that. For no good reason. That sprite is just too good. Too good to be true. <clears throat> that was one sexy sprite. I'm gonna get that tattooed right on my forehead. Alright, back to the game. So maybe I guess I have to go this way. Oh, yep. Yeah. Okay. Oh, invulnerability, I have it. I could use it right now. Fuck that, though. Wait, do I have two invulnerabilities? So it's a grenade, rocket launcher, invulnerability. Okay, yeah. So I only have one. Okay. Ah! ah, fuck the Wilson. Wilson gets ya. Kicking your fucking ass, game. Kicking my ass, too, and I'm kicking yours, too. It's a mutual ass kicking fest. <laughs> Ain't I funny? Ain't I a funny motherfucker here on the internet? Ugh. Funny has a funny way of pronouncing crazy. Ooh, this looks like it might get... Just a little fucky, but we made it through. Ain't gonna stop me! Okay, that might stop me. Fuck, I hope I didn't just delete, like, that super good robo-launcher thing. Okay, no, okay. Let's, uh... Drop the basic pistol. I just picked up a bunch of grenades, though. Wasn't that, like... Maybe that's... I don't know. HG. What the fuck is HG? I guess it could be handgun. That could be what HG is. I assumed it was hand grenade. But I think FG is frag grenade. And I think that's probably what. Probably what the game means. Shit. Bum bum. Bum bum. Ooh, there's a computer screen right there. Alright, let's. Wish I had a grenade or something to. Alright, screw it. I guess I don't have that much. That much stuff. Ooh, what the hell? Oh, is that invin invincibility? Yes, so we have two of those now. Okay, so I'll save one for the boss. Oh, I have one life left, though. Shit. Did it let me keep my items when I continued last time? 
Should I try to use those invulnerabilities just to get to the boss? Uh, we'll save it. Boom. Ah! No, okay. I wonder what determines the sound that the item selection makes, like, what variable? Oh, come on, we can do this. Ah! Two continues left. Ah, oh, it does reset your items. It gives you a few things, but... Damn. Alright, now I want to know. Fucking breaking out the manual. So I want to know what that fucking rocket launcher looking thing was. Hoping the manual even says, but... I was kind of looking through this thing when I got it, and it seemed like it had a lot of information in it, from what I remember. <clears throat> But yeah, let me see here. Let's. I don't know if I can switch. Whatever. The artwork is pretty badass. I mean, it's down on the screen here on the box, but or it's, it's underneath me and and on the stream on the whatever on the, on the Twitch. Shit in the bed. I'm losing my train of thought here. But um, the manuals is is surprisingly high quality. Um. Now that I'm looking at it, like it's got a lot of uh, good information in here. So let me see here. That was okay. So that rocket launcher looking thing that I didn't get to shoot was a blaster rifle. Very high, very high power destruction device which uses heavy slugs. Um, so, okay. Blaster pistol. BP. Laser rifle, LR. Laser pistol, LP. Handgun, HG. So, okay. Grenade is GR. Fusion grenade is the... Um, that big giant grenade. And then... Yeah, shield belt. Okay, so, it's all just basically the bigger the gun, the better, <laughs> as far as we're concerned here. Um, very cool stuff here. I should probably, I'm just gonna, actually going to leave that out. I might need to consult the manual again, so I may as well just let it sit right there. Get the cartridge. Actually, it's really cool. Let me switch to the. Let me show you guys this stuff better. So, this is the sleeve that the game comes in American Video Entertainment Seal of Quality. So, that's really cool. And then you got your, you know, heavy metal vampire stainless steel skeleton guy on the cover you know like what would you call that guy what would, the, what would this guy's name be com comrades to the two people on the internet that'll ever see this part of the video please please make my heart warm and comment what is this guy's name what's his name Langston. That's just the name I thought of. This guy's name is Langston. But but maybe you got something more clever. <laughs> I don't know. Um, so yeah, you know, it's a cool, cool box. It's got actually really 
in-depth uh, lore, all the, the death bots lore you'd ever want. Because, I mean, most people don't know. I mean, because this is a, it's an unlicensed game. Um, NES had a bunch of unlicensed games, and most of them, well, I shouldn't say most of them, but a fair amount of them were actually pretty damn good. And this one is, too. I consider this pretty fun. It's mindless, but it's fun. But, um, like, the reason why there's so much lore on the back is because it's it's it, not really very well known, but it's a fact that uh, I think a couple of the developers of this game, or of this, well, yeah, developers of this game that work for Odyssey, what is the, where's the brand name? Or the developer company name, whatever, the brand name. It just says American Video Entertainment. But I think on the front screen it said Odyssey or whatever. But they actually had a... Uh, quite, quite, the, quite the budget. And they hired writers that actually worked on the American translation of Legend of Zelda. And, uh, you know, a couple other games. Like Mega Man. And, uh... Yeah, I'm completely bullshitting you. I don't know what I'm talking about. Deathbots. This is just some fly-by-night fucking unlicensed game. I don't know. I was trying to gaslight you guys, but... I couldn't really think of anything clever. But this is really cool. I like this box. Um, we're going to keep the manual out, though. Yeah. There. Very like 1989, 90, you know, like just fucking, let, let's just look at this art. I mean, it's honestly probably one of my favorite cover arts on Nintendo. I don't, let me see. I have a couple more NES games. I don't have many boxed NES games, but I have a couple. Let me see if I can pull them out. Because what other, what other opportunity would I have to show them? Here we go. So, Super Mario Brothers 2. Classic. Got that cartridge. Oh, yeah. The manual. What's the manual? It's like the art. The art for Mario Brothers 2 was always just... It's very nostalgic. I guess all the art. But mainly the 2. A little bit of 3, but... There's just something about that. Like, it... That pulls me back to my childhood when I look at it, basically. I mean, it's hard not to. Anybody that grew up with these games, that's, you know... Part of, right, part of the reason why we still play them is because they're just, they were good then, they're good now. Oh, I got the dust cover too. Always good to have. Always try to keep your NES games in these. <clears throat> if you have the opportunity to get them, buy them. My local game store has them for like a buck fifty, and I'm thinking about going to clear out their basket of them. Um, let's set that over there. And Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I don't believe I have a manual for this one, but the dust covers in there. It just keeps sticking. But little Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, where all the bandanas are red. <clears throat> It's even like that on the cover art of the cartridge as well. But anywho, that concludes NES Show and Tell here on Yellow Buckets. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you for watching. Now back to our reg regularly scheduled death bots. All right, back to the game. All right. No, don't tell me the game. Oh, no. Oh, the game locked. 
fucked up. Ree well. Yeah. Ain't that a bitch. Alright. Round two. Fucker. Or no. Ha ha. My controller just shut off. I'm still getting used to this thing. The sleep timer on this thing is like a few minutes. Okay. <laughs> Thank God. Ugh. I mean, I was ready to start a new game, no problem, but deep down, I would have been really salty. <laughs> so we just got basic weapons. We just gotta live. Motherfucking death box. So, I have a feeling like if you get to the boss with this pea shooter pistol, you're pretty much screwed. Get the shield belt. Come on, don't trap me in here at the Wilson. Okay. But I think if you get. Ooh. If you at least get one good gun, save it for the boss. Just try not to get hit by the boss. It seems like they're all pretty much the same so far. You just keep your distance and don't get hit. All right, here we go. We're about to test that theory. I think that's the boss music. All right, let's use the shield belt. All right, it's a green variant. Got him. Those explosions are kind of cool. They're like, they're cheap, but unique. I don't know. <clears throat> okay, okay, okay. Those guys melt you to death. Fuck! Man, that's not fair. I don't like those guys. That's not fair. <laughs> Fuck! I don't like it. Open up, bitch. Mm, mm. Fuck a handgun. Fuck, dude. Fuck these faces! Fuck! Oh. Dude, they just... They melt the ever-loving shit out of you. So I guess we just gotta fuck them off. And those do too! Man. Fuck. You just let me fucking through. Like you took a life, like you accomplished a fucking mission. So we got we got to take our time to shoot the faces. It's no more just like plowing through the enemies. So let's just level like five. Like floor five doesn't fuck around. Which is good, there's just some challenge finally. 
Okay, so laser blaster takes those guys out. Fuck. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Dude, through the wall? That's ass. <laughs> the controller almost just like flew out of my- I was just like... <laughs> like I was just like getting so into it right there. You have energy. Oh fuck, just waste your grenade. There's a gun down there I should've got, but screw it. Survive. Staying alive. Mmm. Uh... Making those noises help. And it makes me seem like a fucking madman, but like, <laughs> this is one of those games where it just takes you there. Like there's no, there's no chill. Like, sure, sure, like, at the beginning, like, it's just mashing buttons and, you know, just kind of, you know, pushing your way through like a tank, but now it's like, this game isn't really fucking around. Okay, I don't like these guys. Ugh. <sighs> might already be dead, but... <laughs> I might already be dead. That's the fucking quote. Oh! I had like a frame to get through the door. I would have made it. Oh my fucking god. Dude. Half my health gone. Bitch! Oh, damn. Come on. Open up. They're gonna shoot me through the walls, dude. Like that! <laughs> Is that the, uh, yeah, get out. Holy... Snort this level doesn't fuck around. I think that's it. Is that game over? Game over. <sighs> okay. Well then. Deathbots. You've triumphed this time. But I'm ready to try again. So American Video Entertainment developed by Odyssey Software. Designers Art V. Cesario III and George C. Rucker III. Those are two made up names. These, those motherfuckers knew that they'd be hunted down and fucked with <laughs> for making this goddamn game if they put the real names in there. So, like I said, it starts off innocent enough. It's just like, okay, little fucking robots. They just meander back and forth. They don't really put the fuck slap on you too hard. It's just, you know. It's alright. Just collect some stuff. Like, I'm watching my health bar more than, like, my surroundings for the most part.
And, but this is like one of those games, like, good luck remembering the levels. Like I said, like, okay, maybe if you're good enough to remember where everything is, you can kind of just know what rooms to avoid, what areas to, to avoid, and, you know, where to just directly go. But when there's three colors on the screen at a given time, good luck remembering anything. There's no fucking landmarks or, like, spatial recognition like that in this game. <clears throat> Fucking shit! Oh, there's hella guns in here. Oh! Wow. Okay. Throwing like the Jamaican flag at me, <laughs> or not? The, is that the Brazilian? No, I'm thinking the Brazilian flag. Excuse me. Fuck, I can't think of anything other than gray and that little paradise of pink that's on the screen for a split second there. Okay, Wally's. Nice. Get through this level without using those. Come on, open up, dude. trying to understand how to trigger these doors. At this point, I mean, I always, I've basically assumed up until this point that it's random, and oh, I, I still think it's just random. Fuck you, dude. What's that? What? Like if, you, like if I remember where to go in this level, shit. It's like half, okay, so you're straight ahead on that level. Save me like half a life. Fuck yeah, I want the big fucking... Who wants the... Do you want this baby toy pistol or do you want this fucking atom bomb? Get to the chopper! Wrong game, but whatever. Just felt right at that moment. Nothing feels right. So there's stuff in there, but screw that. Okay. Shit. 
shield belt. We should probably use that, huh? Yeah. Ah, motherfucker. My health just went down. I saw it like I lost a knob in a health there. Hold up. I'm looking at the playback. Yeah, like it just takes a nobbin of health away. That's horse shit. Alright. That noise is from a different game, too. Oh, shit, am I like maxed out? Okay. I remember that one was the showers. You don't want to go into the showers, man. So I have 9 out of 12 shots. Let's use that health. Where was it? I gotta remember there's ammo. Like, things have ammo, too. So I, I should, like, try to memorize, like, how many shots each thing has so I can kind of get a better idea of anticipating when it's gonna run out. Shit. I'm gonna hit next. Whatever. Open, 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 please. Uh, no. Come on. What the fuck? Alright, this one's just walk to the side, just go to the side. Alright. Got Jack Diddley shit for health. Health. Ah! Ah! Come on! I'm ah! Uh, fuck them. Filled on items. Shit. Probably pointless by the time I get to the thing. It's probably the teleporter. It's just probably gonna take like 10 shots anyway, so it's gonna be fucking pointless. Did you see that? You know, the imaginary fucker here. <laughs> it's just me. It's just me, and I saw that. Damn. Not bad though. Only died. That's you know what the third, third death. <clears throat> so 
So it's like I'm adjusting to the crap factor, but it's those faces, dude. The faces and the pink diamonds. <laughs> like, a submarine that, that, that rides around shooting balls of energy at you is a cakewalk compared to just some fucking face. Like, that's the big enemy in this game, is just a face. <laughs> Fuck you, got you. Alright, so floor four. This is the, like the pink area, like purple. Yeah. And then floor five is when it really kicks in. Um, I think I got a one up. So it just said two replacements left or whatever. So that's cool if there's ways to get one up in this game. I'm all for it. down that's right shit and there's like items in there but uh, I don't know if it's worth it yeah it's probably worth it I thought I was saying access denied maybe because I had too many items, but no, it's just some computers just fuck you out of an item. So I'm not even gonna worry about it. Screw it. Ah! I'm about to die like right there. Holy crap. <laughs> so I use this energy and maybe can ah, weasel my way through. Nope. Weasel my way through. <laughs> God, NES just it, it brings out the fucking brings out the demons, man. Mainly because I think the NES is cursed. At least every NES I've ever had. None of them have ever worked reliably. I've had NES, you know, NESs that work. I mean, the ones under my TV technically work. But it's, it's work in the terms of how long do you want to fiddly fuck around with it until it actually plays the game. Like, wiggling it around. And even like five or six years ago, I, went, I bought the top loader. A refurbished top loader. Like, one that I knew was, like, cleaned, and, and, you know, I bought off, you know, offline from a reputable store, not DK Oldies, <laughs> and, um, that doesn't even work. Like, it, it worked for a little while, but I just, I didn't really like it, because it was RF only, like, I didn't really realize that until after I bought it, so... Like, I just, I didn't really use it, and then the last time I hooked it up, and ever since, I've, you know, it just doesn't fucking work reliably. Like, it's, it's like, there's some fairy out there that anytime I buy an NES that just fucking poofs a curse onto it, like, do, 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 fuck this guy, and just curses my NES. Like, I, I've had probably four or five of them, like, over the past 
whatever, 15 years, and none of them, none of them like to work. Um, so basically, I'm at the point where, um, and I, I've swapped the pins, like on the the uh, t the front loading one, I swapped the pins out. I cleaned the original pins, like, I did all the methods. I did isopropyl alcohol, I did, like, electric contact cleaner, I did, I boiled the motherfucker, which seemingly worked the best, oddly enough. Um, but yeah, I just, I just can't get an NES that works, and it just bugs the hell out of me. So I'm kind of at the point where it's like, fuck it, I'm down just emulating it. <laughs> until I can get one that works reliably. Like, I'm literally at the point where I'm just going to buy one and find, like, a video game modder and just, like, have them fix it till it works every time. Like, I don't know. Like, I feel like these video game stores just don't know what the fuck they're doing. Um, cause I've bought them in, in person at video game stores. Like, I bought them online. Like I said, refurbished for my top loader. I've fixed them myself. So, I don't know. I'm just basically over it. <laughs> I'm ready just to get an EverDrive and a fucking modded whatever NES that just works. I don't even care. There's, it's called, I think, like the AVS. It's 200 bucks. HDMI modded FPGA. I shouldn't say HDMI modded. It's just HDMI output FPGA. Fucking NES for your modern t television. Just get an EverDrive and I'm set. Like I love collecting the old cartridges and you know I'll, I'll, I'll when I get the urge I'll put throw some Mario on or whatever something. But I'm over trying to pretend like that thing works like it did in you know 1992. Like it's fucking 30 years later and that thing's huffing and puffing and barely hanging on. So uh, NES rant over. Oh, Wilson, why are you doing me like that? Gang banging me. Fucking tanks, that guy's, he's aggro, extra aggro, coming after me. He was zooming. So I don't have any health. One recharge. So that's not bad, dude. I haven't even used a continue yet. It's cheap. Fuck them both. So far, this is my favorite gun. The, the one that I have equipped. <clears throat> Fuck if I remember what it's called, but... make it to the boss I have the shield belt if I can make it to the next floor without using a continue that'd be that'd be like that'd feel good <laughs> don't get too cocky thank you for opening okay comfortable because it come right at you all right
fuck? Did I just run out of ammo, like, instantly? Fuck it, I'm not fucking around with these faces, dude. So you gotta commit to the doors. Like, you gotta just, like, commit. Like, I think they're like... They're like the... They're like at your grocery store, how you gotta, like, walk through the sensor and it opens up, like... Fuck. Playing Death Bots is like walking through a door at the grocery store. Put that in a fucking quotation marks and put it on the box. Okay, juke those out. Grab that. Juke it out! Yell at the screen. So... Fuck. These guys just bend you over and and do the dirty. Open, please. Like, come on. Okay, maybe fuck death bots. I don't know. Do I gotta take this? No. This is, oh, this fucking game, dude. Come on, fuck the little diamonds. All right, I hate this room. Okay. Just commit, open. Dude, I don't get it, I don't understand. I was like holding my breath there for a second. Fuck. This game's got me, got me on edge, man. Got me on edge. Fuck, I want that BP gun over there, but I don't. Okay, so these doors don't want to open drop all these fucking pistols I 
hate those diamonds. They just melt you so badly, bro. Ugh. Not a good spot to die out either, because I really don't want to get shafted going into the boss fight. Like, what killed me there? Was it some just fucking random bullet? Th that was just like, I had an aneurysm and died. Like, probably how I'm gonna fucking die playing this game. Oh my god, the health pickups. Ah! Nee! Shield belts up there, okay. So, energy up. Pick up the shield belt. Fucking use that. Uh, fuck the face. Get the health. Just pick up all the health. Pick them all up. Alright, that's enough. Oh my! Fucking good! I'm not using the shield belt. Fucking kiss my fucking ass! Fuck! Man, I ran out of ammo. Really? Fuck, man. I hate you! Laser rifle. Dude, how many effing stages are there in this fucking part, dude? Fuck. You don't have any other guns. You don't have any other guns. Yeah, you do. Right as I'm like thinking I should use some health, that door opens. Freaking faces. Alright, I don't like this level, dude. You gotta pr basically face everything. the shield belt okay I need to use that before I die if I, okay I can die one more time and then in the next life I have to use the shield belt Four six, holy F. Dun, 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 dun. You're not going insane. I'm not going insane. You are. I'm not going insane, you are. Uh. Mm. 
What's that like quote of the guy like bowling like who am I I am or whatever <laughs> That's about the level of intellect I have right now Fucking playing this goddamn game Fuck that dude Did not want to go in there. Full. Do I have any health? I don't think so. Do have a better gun, so let's use it. Oh, there's health. Oh my god. No, don't you dare. Don't you dare. <laughs> Fucking robo pup poodles. I almost said puppies. Robo puppies. What is that? Oh, okay, it's an enemy spawning in. I thought that was like a. Oh, okay. Okay, one last continue. Five fucking lives. Come on. Hope like it's just a you know couple mazes and then bong. <clears throat> yeah, give me the health. Give me all the health. Okay, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Fuck. Go that way, dude. No, don't go that way, dude. F me. Oh, I just walked right through that guy. Oh, come on. God, I don't like those guys. They fucking gang up on you, and they scare you, and intimidate you, and take your lunch money, and then fuck you in the ass. Yes, they scare you. They take your lunch money. And then they don't just fucking throw you against the alley alleyway wall and, and walk away laughing. They fuck you in the fucking ass. That's just ensuring that I get demonetized on YouTube later. You know, the whole half a fucking penny I'd make in the next ten years, you know. That it matters, but... Because it doesn't. But... Just in case it doesn't get demonetized, murder, piss, gun, cigarette, fuck, and... Snuff. Oh, give me all that. Give me all that. Mm. Right, where 
Where's the fucking exit? Go, go! Okay, I glitched through. Fuck it, switch to the big gun, heal. One more heal. <clears throat> Please. Okay, thank God. What's this? What's this ass? Oh. Okay, I made it. Ah! Okay, we have two shots left in this gun. Fuck that, I'm switching. There's four shots in that gun. 35 in that one. Okay, up top. Alright, the path has revealed itself. <laughs> Do I have any more health? Okay, I do. Ooh, I have a shield belt. Should save that. Save that, motherfucker. Oh, dude, there's so much good shit down there. It's a shield belt. Okay. I'm like... <laughs> uh. Sudden movements is funny. I don't know. It's, it's just getting into it. I don't know. Move your fucking ass. Move your fucking ass. Dude, how many levels is there? Like, come on. Um. I think I have two shield belts, though, right? Fuck it, I'm using it. I'm using it. Or, wait. There was... We're on the last floor. But is there one more boss? I'm fucking looking at the book. Because there's a boss after the boss of this floor. Then I'm going to save the shield belt for that fucker. What does it say? Um... Gamma base. The eighth floor being the central controller. Here's a gamma bomb. It must be found and destroyed. Okay, so there is like a boss on the last area. So I'm going to save that shield belt then. Unless I absolutely need to use it. Um Come on, be the boss. Fuck. Okay. Oh my god, come on. health <sighs> uh. 
Okay, the exit's right there. Come on, dude. Please. Holy shit! Ah! Fuck you! I'm using the fucking belt. Cocksucker, cocksucker. Fuck. Oh, shield belt. Oh, 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 come on! Go around! Okay, last fucking life. I guess I gotta use the shield fucking belts. Or fucking waste them. Fuck. Dude, oh my god. How many fucking levels are there, dude? Bullshit. Like... Yeah, let's have five, six, then fucking twenty. Like, come on. Get petulant with it. Waste a grenade while you're at it. Dude. the most unfucking even bullshit I've ever fucking played. Alright, shield belt so I can go pick another one up at least. Is that another one? Come on! Go through the fucking thing! Go insane! Go through the door, please. Thank you, God. Okay, we need to use that health. I have two shield belts. Oh my God, come on, dude. This could fucking work. Uh, don't drop anything. Just use the health. Fuck, do I have any more health? Holy hell, I've got a lot of guns, okay. Oh my god. Oh! Okay. Do I have any health first of all? Switch that. No, so fuck it. Come here, motherfucker! Uh, oh! You were a pushover. Alright! Takes to the gamma bomb, motherfucker. The fucking gamma bomb. This is the shit that turned the Hulk into the fucking Hulk, man. Oh my 
god! Okay, there's a fucking thing down there. I gotta get to that fucking item box. Uh, did, I, did I get it? Fuck you! Fuck you! Boom, bitch! I win! <laughs> oh! You have defeated the evil deathbots! Nor have you! <laughs> oh, shit. I win. Fucking. I win. Um. <laughs> uh. And that. And that's just the perpetual end screen. There's no way to continue it. I'm pressing start, select. I'm hitting like all the buttons at once. So, there you have it, comrades. There goes the neighborhood. There goes my sanity. That was Deathbots. Not a terribly difficult game. Um not a terribly fun game um but it's one of those games where you just kind of want to keep going like when you die you just kind of want to keep going to see like what the next level is going to be or like what the next enemy is going to be and you know i was getting like a little petulant towards the end there like but that was kind of insane how it seems like the more like the the deeper down you went in the levels like you know one, two, three, four, five, six. I guess that's the idea. You're taking an elevator down. Um, but it seems like the farther you get into the game, the more levels there are per, more stages, more areas there are per level. Level meaning level like in terms of an elevator, not like a video game. Um, as fucking confusing as that is. But yeah, so... Kind of uneven in that sense, but I mean, hell, it's it's an NES game. It's an unlicensed NES game at that. Um, so, take it as you will. Motherfucking Deathbots, comrades. Love it. Um, tested my sanity there. For those of you counting at home, let me know how many times I said motherfuck or cocksuck. Um, I'd greatly appreciate it. Um, but yeah, death bots. I don't really know what else to say. Um, we did it. I'm kind of happy. Um, didn't know what to expect really. I only, like I said, when I played it the first time, I only got the first, uh, maybe two floors. Um, and really the only hard part of that game is like, the last two floors like the faces and those pink diamonds and then the uh honestly the last floor wasn't even that bad like th those little like robot things kind of fucked you over but it wasn't that bad all things considered <clears throat> i think the fifth floor was definitely the hardest um but death bots that's gonna go up on youtube then we'll archive that one um yeah I don't think, I don't know if anybody stopped by to watch, but I appreciate anybody that did. Um, anybody that watches this on YouTube later on, if it makes its way on there, thank you. Um, appreciate you guys for watching. Death bots. Alright guys, thanks for watching, take care, and until next time.